Clayton is a pioneer strapless flowboarder. We met up with him at the Wave House in Guazulu Natal. Uh, my name is Clayton Barker and I'm the 2011 World Flowboarding Champ. Flowboarding is basically a board sport that you do on an artificial wave surface. Uh, we're lucky enough to have the only double barrel in the world. So, you know, it's, it's kind of like surfing in a sense that it looks like a real wave, but it's more along the lines of snowboarding, skateboarding, wakeboarding, anything where you need to put pressure on your back foot, it's pretty much exactly the same as that. The wave basically has eight pumps that uh, pump water out at about 65, 70 k's an hour, uh, depending on what size it is. On max, the way we ride it, it's, it's the fastest, obviously. It's basically a cement form underneath. Um, there's about an inch and a half of foam with blue paint over the top. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much how it works. It just recycles its own water, and you ride on that. There's basically four different aspects to flowboarding. You've got the smaller little flow riders where you'd learn how to ride, obviously get the basics down. You'll progress up to the barrel, uh, depending if you left goofy or regular footed. You've got strapless and strapped. Uh, strapless, obviously, you're not stuck to the board at all. It's more like surfing or skateboarding. Your tricks are along the same kind of line as skateboarding. And then you have strap, where it's more obviously like snowboarding or wakeboarding because you're stuck to the board. Other sports to flowboarding is, is a really big influence. Um, obviously you have skateboarding, uh, where you'll, you'll focus more on flip tricks, board rotations, anything like that you do on a skateboard. Uh, then you've got the surfing influence, obviously getting in the barrel, doing calves, just trying to make everything look a little bit more stylish. And then you've got the wakeboarders and snowboarders who just love going big so they'll have backflips just the craziest things you've ever seen and uh, that's kind of how influences help the sport of flowboarding. I'm just basically going to explain to you uh, the differences between uh, the different types of flowboards that we have here. Uh, the first board we have is obviously it's a, it's a shorter, more of a twin tip skateboard kind of board. It's useful a lot in if you've got a lot of skateboarding tricks, easier to throw the board around. The second board is a 47 inch. These are the longer boards, but it's just a single tip. So it's more like a surfboard. And the last board we have is the strap board. But a lot of the guys now are riding twin tips. Uh, just purely because if you do any kind of flip trick and you land fakey or switch uh, you can kind of just ride out of it properly and yeah just they're super light super strong and pretty easy to ride Winning the World Championships was, it was a bit of a surprise. I mean, there were so many good guys here. I really, really didn't expect to win it. It wasn't even on my mind. But yeah, it was, it was just rad to win it in front of my home crowd. You know, my best mates were there, my family was there. So it, it was kind of humbling in the same time. This year, I'm going to be defending my title in Spain. But the guys, I know for a fact, are coming this year with a whole bag full of tricks. So it's going to be a challenge to, to compete against them. But I've, I've got a few things up my sleeve I can, uh, that I'll be working on, so hopefully we can throw them out this year in Spain. Yeah, if you want to get involved in the sport, just come down to Wave House at Gateway. Uh, there's always guys here super amped to help you out. Uh, I mean, the more people we can get involved in the sport, obviously we can grow it a lot quicker and maybe get a couple extra waves around the country. 